got a compressor chain to do on this. Um, Samsung DBM, DBM2, I think they are. Um, done quite a few of them here. The, the digital scroll. There we go. She's off. Um, we're pumping the gas down into the pipe work. You can you can pump them out on um, heating mode. You shut the uh, liquid and the suction off and leave the hot gas open. And then pump it out of the hot gas pipe work and save covering all the gas out and then we just suck a little bit of stuff in there, dump it in the suction and we can get the compressor turned off. Of which one we're going to run because we've got the uh, digital one disabled at the moment. Okay, keep an eye on it. I'll see if I can get some more footage, I'll see how we get on. to about 20 psi, 22. Then we've shut the hot gas pipe as well, so they're all three of them are shut. So we've basically pumped all the gas out of this condensing unit into the pipe work and all the indoor fan coils, uh, apart from 20 psi. So we'll get the recovery machine going, take it out of this port here and dump it into that port on the suction pipe. Um, get, all, get all the uh, Gas out of it. While we're doing that, we can start taking all the blankets off of here and getting the cables and things out of the way. Um, yep. Up on the roof on the hotel. BGS, but you can get them uh, top tool, I think, also make them. Well, that's 20 or 30 pounds. Um, and the idea with these is when you're um, debrazing the compressor, I should have set this up a bit better. Basically, it locks on. It's got three points of contact, and it's fairly rigid, so you can you can leave them locked on there. Get the joint really hot, grab hold of them, and then pull the pipe out. Um, whereas if you're using like like uh, um, normal grips, you know you've got to get them set right, and then they're on the floor, and then you've got to pick them up, and then because they're, they're only in two points, they tend to squash the pipe flat. So uh, this has been the second time we've used them and they actually work out quite well. So that's BGS, uh, is that 491? If you, if you look them up there's quite a few people who make them. They just put their name on them and you can adjust it down to for the smaller pipes and uh, all sorts. Um, anyway, we've got the new contactor in there. Done that. Uh, got the blanket off of there, the wires off of it. I've made a note of where the wires were so we can put them back on. Although it's usually fairly obvious, but I'd rather make a note. Got the bolts undone. So we've got oil port connection down here, suction, uh, discharge, and then you've got an unloading connector at the top. Right, that's a new one in there. It's the old one. We put some tape around the oil port because when you tip them to take the, you've got to sort of tip it and lift it out through that gap. When you do that, you'll get a load of oil pissing out of here. So the level sort of just down here, sort of that sort of level. And that's where the joint is. So put some tape around it. Um, I've got to go in and check all my joints. It's a bit windy up here. It's my excuse. They're not. They're not too. Pretty. We've got one at the top, discharge, suction, and that oil one's going around the mirror. Then we've got to put the bolts on, wire it back up, the mist is back in and everything. Back it out. Uh, let's see what happens. 
great. Got a compressor put in, um, got it wired, got the thermistors back on, um, got the cable tied back up. Just starting to put the blanket around, we've got that one round there, it's all just velcroed together. And then it's got a little piece that goes on the top, and then that big blanket goes over the two compressors, over the top of them. <coughs> And we're just waiting on a good vacuum. Well, it keeps raining here, so we keep doing a bit and then rushing inside. So we work. Sun's out again now, but. Do a bit and then uh, go and hide inside in the dry for a bit and then back out again. Anyway. Right, just finished backing it and we've just had some fun with that valve. We went to undo it with this and it's like a uh, four mil socket and it sheared the tip off inside the valve. Um, luckily we was able to get a screwdriver in there, tap it in, because it was wedged in there tight. Once we tapped it in it come loose and then uh, fished out. I've got like a little magnet pulled it out and then we just done we undone it with a normal allen key but when we when I did it up it went up tight um, whether it cooled down and got tighter because that, that's the hot gas um, valve anyway that was a relief <laughs> just sheared off Right, it's all back together, apart from putting the cover on. Um, it's on crankcase here mode at the moment, I think. Uh, CH, I think it says, can't see in the light. Oh, we got something flashing up E6 or something. Look at that. Um, so they go in the crankcase here mode for about four hours. Um, so you can't get them to run. I don't think there's any way to override it, but um, I don't usually work on these, it's Dave's department. So, uh, anyway, I would like to see if that's a port code or not. So I usually count through all the units. E6. We've got a list of codes on there. No, it's actually, it's not, it's not E6, it's actually CH. Um, can't see because the sun's sort of, no, it's not very bright, if you cover it over. Um, CH is crankcase here, so um, I'm not sure if it's on time or temperature because it's got a, it's got a wrap around rubberized crankcase here on both compressors and one of them's got a temperature sensor on it, but I don't think it works off the sensor, I've got a feeling it's just timed. Um, I don't think there's any way to override it. Anyway. Yes, yeah, so they've got one, two, two, three, six of these systems here. We've changed compressors in. I think I've done three. I've done that one, this one, and now this one. Um, so they're 12 years old now, so and they're on 24 hours a day, so they must do some hours. But it's, it's always the digital scroll that goes. Um, rather than the fixed speed one. And they're always, uh, it's always electrical. They're shorted out. Uh, I've not actually cut one open to see what's gone wrong in them. But. Something, something must give up.